Hey there, it's Laura Wansick here, and I am excited to be working with the new Lucky in Love Traveler's Notebook Kit from Studio Calico. So this is a really fun kit. There's these great puffy stickers. Two of them come in a set, so you can see over here that I've already started cutting it up. Something that I really like to do when I'm working with anything that comes on a sheet of plastic like this is I like to cut it up because it helps me to visualize placement to sort of move it around. And it's actually a good tip if you have some spare plastic and some other type of you know adhesive pieces, you could stick them on plastic just so that you can move them around and kind of get a sense for exactly where you wanna put them. So I'm working here with this picture from last December. It's actually us looking for our Christmas tree, but I thought it doesn't have to be a Christmas themed layout just because that's what we were doing, right? So. I really like the way the colors go together. So I'm gonna play around with this grid. I love grids. So this is for sure my favorite piece of this kit because it's sort of <clears throat> done a lot of work for me already, right? So now I just feel like I need to fill in the grids. So what I'm gonna do is um, some tone on tone. So I'm gonna put like this yellow piece here because it's with the yellow. I like the way that it sort of builds on the color scheme that's already sort of embedded here, um, but just sort of spices it up. The other thing is there's this great add-on stamp this month. This is like, I saw the preview for this and I was like, I am so excited about that. I can't even handle it. And I was thinking that for these cactus pieces that are here in the puffy sticker set, I could stamp some of these vases down um, underneath them here in the blocks. And I thought that would be kind of cute. So I think for this one, yeah, I'll have to put that big cactus in this small little pot here. So I'm going to use my ink guide to match that teal so that I, again, I'm getting kind of a tone on tone. So as I'm finding a color here to put in that teal box, this is a good reminder of why it's helpful to know the difference between pigment and dye ink. So I'm using a dye ink here, which means that I'm dyeing the paper that color, but if I was using a pigment ink, it would take longer to dry and also it would be a slightly different color. So pigment ink is like paint that sits on top of the paper. And so you can stamp a lighter color on a darker piece of paper and have it still show up as long as it's pigment ink. So the Color Theory subscription kit this month is the Roswell Alpha stickers, and you can also get the metallic ones there, the gold and the silver, and I went through and kind of matched them up <clears throat> to the layout, and I opted for the silver because I thought that it would be fun to have a little bit of shine and show up against that tree. There's also these little chipboard hearts and arrows that are included in the kit. You can see how perfectly the pinks match there. These are pieces from Kingston Crafts. Kingston Crafts has a lot of really great basics. So a lot of great solid chipboards and um, shapes and things like that. So I was excited that that was included here. Just moving around and finding, you know, spaces for things in terms of the color. It's funny how they matched up so perfectly, like that little heart that matches that rectangle, you know, um, matches the color so perfectly and the size of the box so perfectly. So I have this color guide here, and the great thing about doing it this way is I can pull those little squares out and hold them up directly against the um, squares so that I know that the colors are going to work. So that is the Coral Bay Pigment Ink, and... I end up stamping a little bit of the pattern. There's a striped pattern that can layer on top of the pot, and I use the Orange Theory, um, you can see my scrunchie there, the Orange Theory pigment ink to create that stripe. I love the way that little pot looks, it's so cute. And the color, it's still the same approximate color, but just jazzes it up a little bit. So my trick for putting titles on is to grab a spare piece of plastic and put the letter stickers on it with the very bottom of the letter sticker adhered. And that way you can figure out placement without having to commit. And you can even just lay it down and adhere the top part and then slowly remove the bottom. But I ended up putting these down with my um, fingers directly. The issue here was that the Y was cut off, and so I decided that I would have it kind of bleed over to the next page, so I took another Y and cut the bottom off. I think you can still tell that it says lucky, but it kind of bothered me, so I decided that I wanted to have the bottom of the Y included. And I took a, um, you know, I took a cue from the name of this kit for my title, Lucky in Love, kind of matched the journaling that I had in mind. 
Um, so I took the word love, which is part of the stamp set, and then I just grabbed an alpha set that I had that had um, letters that were sized to put the word in on top there. So I kind of built a title here that says Lucky in Love, incorporating um, that kind of grid and having that box right next to the word lucky. I love the washi tape from this kit. It's so fun. And I wanted to kind of figure out where to put these, but I was finding that as I was putting them down on the paper, they were ripping. So what I went ahead and did was just adhere to strip on white cardstock and then cut the little stamps out with scissors so that I could move them around to decide where I wanted to put them. And the great thing is, you know, if you cut one in a way that you don't want to or something, um, you can just, you know, cut another one out because there's so many of these repeating patterns on that washi tape. So yeah, this is definitely my favorite washi in a long time. I considered not doing tone on tone, but then I decided to keep the kind of green on the green. And I think I might put that pink arrow in that yellow section, actually. So it's like I made a rule that everything is tone on tone, and then I broke the rule. And I did some things not tone on tone. And I think that's good to do, you know, to kind of vary things. Yeah, I moved these around a lot before I could decide, you know, sometimes I just have to like get a feeling like it feels right or it doesn't feel right. You know, sometimes I can't always explain why. Here I'm just quickly doing my journaling. I'm using a, I think it's called a Micron Pen um, 01, which is pretty fine tip there to get the journaling in that little box. Then just adding a little dab of adhesive. Um, I think these postage stamp things are the last, the last piece of the puzzle here. There it is. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments.